Hi there, I'm Norman from Boating New Zealand. We're sitting on the stern of the Swift Trawler 41 Fly, a beautiful boat from 36 Degree Brokers in West Haven. On a day like this, it's absolutely perfect to sit out the back on this uh, wide bench seat, which has another trick up its sleeve. Slides back to create a beautiful entertaining area. Under here is a massive storage compartment for water toys, uh, tables, picnic equipment and what have you. Stepping out onto the boarding platform, which is the same level as the uh, cockpit, perfect for fishing, water sports, boarding ladder and masses of space. Or we can push this forward again. A number of features of this boat have been added uh, locally by 36 degree brokers, including these beautiful staples and bait boards which are made here in Auckland. Plenty of rod holders, very very strong and stable and perfect for fishing. Nice thing about the trawler design here is this walkway or, or gangway down the side of the boat which enables you to get from the cockpit to the bow area without getting your feet wet. There's also a door into the cabin enabling the skipper can get in and out easily get to the bow area or back to the cockpit for deploying the anchor or whatever needs to be done. This boat has a massive 4.2 meter beam which provides a huge amount of space. The front deck here, easily uh, usable as a sun deck, plenty of space, the, the anchor, winch, everything hidden away and wide, stable and flat. This is the Trawler Swift 41 Fly which means it has a fly deck up top. In this particular model it doesn't have a hard top on the fly deck, it's open. This is a really social boat. Look how much space there is here. Plenty of room for a party, even in these socially distanced times, including a little fridge, preparation area here, and then forward to the Ford helm station. Space for half a dozen or more people. This is a new boat, and of course there are numerous options for a cover up here, including a bimini which will be fitted to this boat. The Flybridge Helm Station is of course fully equipped with two smaller Raymarine multifunction displays, full engine controls, thrusters, anchor winch, radio, everything you need to drive the boat from up here. On a day like today, this is the place to drive. One of the problems with large boats like this quite often is being able to see the anchor from the Flybridge. Whereas here, I don't even have to get up my seat, I can see where the anchor is, I can see the bow of the boat. As you would expect on a boat this size, beautiful helm station, lots of space, fantastic controls. This boat is powered by twin Volvo D4 300 horsepower motors, all the electronics to control that. Top of the range Raymarine, and this is mirrored by another set of Raymarine um, multifunction devices up in the flybridge. Uh, nice really big steering wheel, bow and stern thrusters. Coming out to the spot, we were cruising at around 18 knots, running at about 2900 RPM and using uh, around 39 litres per hour per motor, so just under 80 litres per hour uh, at cruise speed. This boat gets up to 25 knots at wide open throttle um, and obviously the fuel consumption goes up a little bit on that. So this skipper seat has several tricks up its sleeve. The first one is that you can tilt it up and use that just as a bum bolster. The second thing is you can lift the seat up, swing it round and fold the table out for full seating for everybody on board. It's a large comfortable lounge area here, opening windows, beautiful fresh air or close up and be snug. This boat has built-in heating so in the middle of winter you run heat and stay warm and snug. One of the options available for this boat is to put this table on pedestals so it drops down and have an infill squab to make another double berth here. Here the galley is beautifully laid out with a three burner countertop, double sink with inserts, storage space 
which doubles up as a working surface. Heaps of drawers and cupboard space. And on the other side, a built-in fridge. Not to mention, freezer on top. You can also slide out a TV and watch your favorite TV show. Not only do we have the sliding door here, but the entire back of this unit opens up to create a good indoor-outdoor flow. What a place to be on a beautiful summer's day in Auckland. The master cabin has got a beautiful queen-size double bed here, easy access up either side and with lovely portholes and windows. This cabin has plenty of headroom, even for six foot plus people. It has an ensuite for the master bedroom. On the other side is a shower. Going out through the walkway is the day head with an additional shower. And two guest cabins. Unusually for a boat this size, there's massive headroom everywhere, including in the cabins here. And there's also spacious storage lockers in every one of the cabins. So this new model, Swift 41, uh, this is only the second one of this model that's arrived in New Zealand, adds to the popularity of the Swift in New Zealand. This boat will appeal to owners who want a large volume family boat with a reasonable amount of speed, good fuel economy, and lots and lots of space. John Ankelsone from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.